So my name is Shipeng Yu. This is my uh, co-chairs, Balaji and Muhak. So on behalf of the entire KDD 2016 committee, we welcome you to San Francisco, and welcome to uh, KDD 2016. So we have a lot of stuff to cover for the opening uh, session, and we have the innovation uh, talk afterwards. Uh, so we'll go through the slides fairly quickly. Um, so you are all here to attend the KDD conference. And so basically, you want to come here to maximize the impact of data science over the next 10 plus years. So data science has been playing a crucial role, as everyone here knows. And we also try to build up your career uh, by coming here and build connections and get mentors, um, get somebody you want to hire, depending on your needs. Um, so that's why you come to this conference. So this year, we are making quite a bit of innovations. So we're trying to bring more value to the attendees here. Um, so we make all the contents available on, on the web freely, so everyone should have checked on the, all the papers. Um, we do have other online videos available. So you can check out the content and the videos beforehand. So we have, have more um, in-depth discussions here at the conference. So for the ones who wants to learn more hands-on tutorials, we have hands-on stuff. So we have eight hands-on tutorials, which is for the first time we bring more sort of technical uh, hands-on value to the audience. So we also make a lot of innovations on the network side. I'm going to hand over to Mohak to talk about it. Perfect. Thanks, Shipan. Uh, so from all our chairs, all the chairs, all uh, the organizing committee here, ACM and CKDD, I'd like to welcome you to the largest KDD ever so far. So we should congratulate ourselves. We are more than 2,700 of us representing 88 countries. Uh, a net hike of more than 35% since our last record. So pretty exciting, actually. I mean, I, I think uh, we are growing and for a good reason, actually. Uh, not just that. There's something different, right? I mean, we have roughly about 15% attendees with conference papers this time. So what does that really mean? I mean, we have... This, the reach of our competence going beyond just the research community. We have more practitioners here. We have more people who are willing to learn, eager to learn about what's going on in the latest and greatest, both in terms of theory and practice. And what does that really mean for us? More opportunities to learn novel content, but at the same time, you get to expand our networks, meet with peers, mentors, practitioners. Given its Bay Area, we'll have our investment communities involved in. We have a lot of other activities going on that allows us to connect with each other. And I think that's something that's very unique in terms of attending a conference in person. We'll have all the contents available as it is. So I, we want to maximize the value by making the connections. We have four specific networking sessions going on, uh, covering data science activities in China and India to major geographies as well, in addition to what we have been doing here. We have a special meeting uh, of data mining group that has been discussing uh, evolving standardization and standardization needs for data science practice uh, in, in the industry as well. And finally, we are very proud to also have uh, supporting our uh, broadening participation in data mining workshop that has uh, uh, been going on on Friday and Saturday, where we have a lot of additional uh, underrepresented groups kind of uh, uh, bringing, uh, bringing them in the KDD fold. So that has been quite exciting as well. In addition to that, we are also bringing our employers and our uh, community together. We have a representation of about 27 companies this year, uh, connecting them to 234 unique candidates. So we are, we are getting good at matchmaking, actually. So that might be an alternate business for us as well. Uh, about 3,500 uh, total connections with a median connection of about 126 candidates per company. So that's uh, some of the value that uh, we are not just giving back to our sponsors, but uh, hopefully building long-lasting professional connections as well. In addition to that, we are trying to get uh, maximum value out of being in the Bay Area. So we are trying to bring in investment community in our fold. We have a lot of impressive uh, panels that are already going on the investment community side. In addition, we have the VC office hours on Tuesday, where we are trying to uh, assign 
individual slots where you can discuss with the VCs, ask your ideas, ask your questions, pitch your ideas, get their advice on the career front. So we're trying to get the maximum value out of it. We are grateful uh, to these VCs to be able to, uh, you know, help out with our uh, individual one-on-one -on -one sessions as well. Looking forward to that. And finally, uh, we have tried to kind of incentivize more content sharing through social media. So we'll, I'll just uh, give you a couple highlights. We'll, we'll have more detailed discussion uh, coming up in uh, our social network discussions. But in general, we have created one page per paper that's been accepted on the conference. And uh, we are trying to make all the content available as well as enable discussions on this paper. Each of these paper pages, all together, we have close to 75,000 uh, views that have already been gathered on these pages. In addition, this time around, you'll, you must have seen all these two-minute videos that the authors have uploaded to kind of highlight their work and you know, essentially increase the reach, in, increase the, the uh, expanse beyond, the, uh, beyond just the conference community. So far, I mean, we, we are quite excited to see more than 50,000 views just for that content as well. So it's been quite exciting. Thanks a lot, uh, all of you, for the participation as well. And I think uh, this is something that uh, is quite unique in terms of expanding our network uh, innovations throughout the conference. Uh, so all of these innovations, whether it's on the content side, network side, wouldn't have been possible without everybody that you see on the screen here. So organizing committee, thank you so much for all the hard works you have been putting in. It has been exceptional effort this year. We have record number of uh, submissions. We have. Uh, Record number of attendance, it takes massive effort in terms of organizing so many activities, uh, making some sense out of, uh, out of this, and having a program of this magnitude. So thanks again for that. Thank you. I would like to also mention our 250 plus volunteers that we have enabled through our free registration. This has been like a three times increase from our previous record. But they have been doing a lot of work behind the scenes to make it all possible. You must have seen a lot of these guys in the green t-shirt floating around. So thank you all, guys. It has been a great effort. Thank you so much. All right. Beyond that, I think few people deserve special mention. They have been exceptional, outstanding. And without them, I think you know uh, the current format of this conference wouldn't have been possible. So I would especially like to give a shout out to Claudia and you. Amazing effort on the sponsorship. We are exceeding our record sponsorship by two times this year. And uh, it has been an exceptional effort for us to be able to support all the activities here, all the volunteers, and uh, all these additional efforts that we have been able to bring to you. So thanks a lot, uh, Claudia and you. And final thanks to our Associate General Chair Shipang, you have been doing an exceptional work behind the scenes. Uh, so I think you know all the credit that has that should go for all the good things working out on the conference front goes to Shipang. Thank you so much, Shipang. Appreciate that. It's been exceptional. And one final thank to Shannon. I don't know where you are, but a big shout out to you. Uh, you might still be working, I guess, very hard to make this uh, make this successful. So thanks a lot to the to Shannon and whole of the executive events team. Uh, it has been an exceptional effort. They have been uh, they have been exceptionally helpful and gone above and beyond their scope to make this possible. So thanks a lot, guys. And a final word of thanks to all our corporate sponsors. It's uh, without your support. This would not have been possible. So it's, it's been great to have your support, not just financially, but also in terms of the spirit and uh, uh, in terms of reaching out to the researchers, practitioners, for us to be able to help you better as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. All right, with that, uh, I think I'll hand it over to Balaji. So this year's KDD uh, was all about how do we grow the community towards the future. We said, we're going to help you get jobs. We showed you about a job match program. We said, we'll help you have a bigger impact. And we talked about how you've reached a far larger audience than in previous years with just the papers, 75,000 page views, for example. 
So KDD is really the marketplace. It's a marketplace, uh, at least with two sides. There are actually multiple sides. There is the content creators and the content consumers. Um, but to understand the direction that KDD is going in, we need to step back a second and think about the direction the industry is going in and the impact it's going to have on each one of our careers and all the products that we build. The first wave of data science, if you will, was in the 90s where we all wrote code in MATLAB and SAS and SPSS and you know, we, we built uh, code from scratch as machine learning researchers. Then in the mid 2000s, the community did a 10x jump and suddenly we were enabling software engineers and practitioners to be data scientists. And so this was equivalent to what happens when computing moved from mainframes to mini computers. Suddenly there's a 10x jump in the impact that you have or a 100x jump in the impact you have. This is already underway. It's going to continue for the next several years. And we'll talk about the implications for the conference and the community in a minute. And then we're moving now to the third phase where we are seeing the equivalent of what happened with the industrial revolution with division of labor, automation, processes, everything that you see in manufacturing production lines is happening now. What does it mean for us? First, our community is changing. The majority of our attendees, attendees are practitioners. What does it mean for KDD? It means we have to make every effort to help the practitioners understand what's happening, what is the cutting edge in research, not just publish a paper and walk away, but to translate that into practice. And we've talked about how we're doing this with hands-on tutorials where you can bring your laptops, where you can learn how to put it into production the day you get back to work. Second implication of this, whether we like it or not, I, the bring, I, I bear good news and bad news. In the next several years, five years, 10 years, we are going to see several things happening to our jobs. Some jobs will be commoditized. Others will move to lower cost countries. Others will be automated. Jobs of the people in this room. So how do we respond to this? There's also other things that are going to happen at the same time. There are other parts of data science which are exploding. that are phenomenally experiencing amazing growth. And so there is opportunities for $400 million exits like we saw recently last week from this community and a lot more at scale. So the data science audience has expanded by a factor of more than a thousand. So while we're happy to see a 35% growth, I think what we should shoot for is a thousand fold growth over the next five years. And it doesn't mean thousand fold more people attending physically at the conference. It is how do we impact a thousand fold more people. Not physically those sit here, sitting here, but in terms of the code they write, what they put in production, what they do on a daily basis. The highest success of a paper, a paper is just an advertisement. An advertisement for people to use things in their work. The highest success of a paper is that a lot of people use this and it has changed the world. And KDD aspires to be the place which will help you bridge from data science 1.0 to 2.0, where a lot more people use your work and will help you move from 2.0 to 3.0, then we are going to change the way that work itself happens with industrialization, division of labor, and the notion of a data scientist being much more refined to much more narrow, specific roles which work together. This is a dramatic change that will impact products, startups, our careers, and those who are informed will make the successful jump. Secondly, you come for the content, you stay for the network. What does that mean? It means, from a personal experience, I, a couple of years back, quit a company because the company was in trouble after 10 years there. And I could pick up a phone, I talked to 10 people, I got jobs right away, immediately, value of a network. I picked up a phone at a different time in my life when I had a little startup. I picked up somebody and asked, okay, how much should I pay for the Catalina data? Is it worth it? I got an answer right away. And finally, I was able to hire people. I was able to have a bigger impact of, because I understood with mentors how I should move in my career. That's the value of the network that we want to give you. And we'll talk about how that's going to happen later in the presentation. 
to hand over to the next speaker, let me set up finally by talking about a growth opportunity, an immediate growth opportunity, not about a 10x or 100x or 1,000x improvement that is possible in the next five years, but an immediate opportunity is one-sixth, 15% of the audience today has registered for the ACM SIG KDD. Now, there is a need for a professional body that will help us with standards, certification, and other things that an American Medical Association does. It defines different, there's no such thing as a doctor. There's a nephrologist, there's a neurologist, there's all kinds of specializations. There's certifications. There is a huge, uh, enormous need for guiding legislation. For example, we have laws that are overly restrictive and don't allow us to mine the data in ways that will help us understand disease better based on the data we already collect. This is a problem that needs to be solved, and the community that's solving this is, as a professional body, is the SIG, the Special Interest Group, to uh, help us talk about why six times more of us, at least those in this room, should join the SIG, and the value that it brings us, I'll hand over to the executive uh, chairman of the SIG, Dr. Bing Liu.